Okay, it looks like I'm in the right spot. I just need to get uh, get like my little bearings correct here. Uh, so I'm gonna drill a couple of holes. Uh, first thing in the morning I like to do is get around. Um, obviously I fished this spot for a couple minutes, but I just did it to check to see if there's fish around uh, at this time of day. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the area and probably do like five to six holes. It just depends on what I see. Uh, check them with my flasher, see if they're the right depths that I'm looking for, looking for the right structure that I'm trying to fish, and uh, start from there. So hopefully that's going to help you guys out get started in the mornings when you get out on a new body of water. So. Alright, so I'm going to try some uh, wax worms here on one of my JB Lures bow spoons because I get a lot of fish coming up here. They're just not committing on the bigger, uh, bigger presentation or minnow. So it makes me wonder if I got some big bluegills or possibly more perch underneath me today. So try a little bit smaller presentation with uh, some more smaller bait and we'll see how it goes could just be on a bad bite window right now too so we'll see that definitely felt like a bluegill really makes me wish I had my bluegill rod out here Ugh. Always be prepared for everything. Be prepared for everything. That's definitely a bluegill. <laughs> I know you guys way too well. Hooks are garbage. All right, I switched baits. Hopefully this one still attracts them and then uh, seems like it's got sharper hooks. I actually tested them beforehand, poked my finger. <laughs> so I've literally lost like three fish now and I, I can only assume it's the hooks because they've had the hooks in their mouths and they just pulled right out. Always check your hooks. <laughs> I know that's not something a lot of people do. I usually do it at the beginning of the season. I usually switch out a lot of stuff, check all my hooks before I start the season. But yeah, that's the difference between good hooks and bad hooks. Find out what this is now. <laughs> Well, that's not something I was expecting, <laughs> but I caught him. Difference between good hooks and bad hooks. <laughs> Hope that one helps you guys out, because that's literally the proof. Like, I missed hook sets like five or six times now. Oh, and of course there's another big one down there now. Oh. 
One just showed up. Feels okay. Getting there. These guys better watch out today. I get to keep a couple. That guy's definitely too little, but looking forward to getting some that I can keep. I know I'm going to regret it, but I'm going to eat some food here because I'm starving. And uh, I'm going to run a dead stick <laughs> while I'm eating. Okay, somehow I got lucky and I was able to eat my food <laughs> for the first time. And uh, Usually when I start eating food, fishing gets a little rough and, you know, they show up out of nowhere and I can't ever eat. So, I moved my uh, slip bobber around a little bit. Looks like there's one down there messing with it. I don't want to move it right now. But as soon as that's done doing whatever it's doing... Uh, driving my minnow nuts. I'm gonna stick it in that hole and start jigging again. Okay, I just had a mark come through on the upper part of my screen. I'm hoping it's a big crappie. So I dragged my my dead stick up there. Usually the suspended fish around here are a decent sized crappie. Could be doing this with the jig stick, but uh, being stupid and stubborn and trying to get them whatever it is to bite this. Well, now I'm conflicted. I don't know if I should put this down by the bottom for some walleye and perch or leave it up top for the crappie. Stay tuned, we'll figure it out. Oh, I just got something coming up off the bottom with that bottom pounding. That looks like a big fish. This guy came flying up out of the mud. Another one down there, too. I gotta see if I can just sit down there and get that guy without any bait. Looks like a good one coming up from the bottom. all over me. I don't know how he's going to keep messing like that. This fish is going up and down with me like five, six feet, seven feet at a crack. I don't think I've ever had a fish do that much and not, not swing. That was intense. <laughs> that was just a little guy. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm gonna put an end to the, today. I got a massive headache. I don't know what it's from, but
I stuck it through the most of the day. It was slow, as you guys can see, but I did get some fish, and that's, you know, it's always a plus when you get, you know, get your hands on some fish. Uh, to be redundant, I'm just glad I caught some fish. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really glad you guys stuck through to the, uh, through this one. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long it was, but either way, if you made it to this point, you guys are troopers. Uh, obviously, I didn't make too many moves, like I said, um, and I've had a slamming headache all day, so I've just kind of been quiet and sitting put. But I tried giving you guys some good tips and, you know, getting around to basically understanding what's going on. So I hope that helps some of you guys out. Uh, obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you're new here, please just remember to 